forget the painting. Thank you. Uh, can I ask you a question? What is your time? No to the occupation. Okay. Because Israel went uh, way beyond the boundaries set by the United Nations uh, partition plan and caused all this trouble with the Palestinians when there was no need because they were willing to share the land anyway. And they're still willing to. You know, I don't think that Hamas is genocidal. You know, all those horror stories uh, have not been verified. So you deny it? Um, nothing to deny. There's no evidence. Nothing, you know, the, the Israeli police have not come up with anything. It's, you know, like stories that have been propagated by some military and some journalists are sympathetic in order to justify a genocide that's happening in Gaza now. You know, because there's no justification for what's happening. So you think what happened October 7th is not true? Well, it was a military operation and it was a very drastic. You know, 323 wow. Israeli soldiers were killed. The whole Gaza Brigade was killed massacred because there was like a thousand two thousand Hamas you know and they were only 320 23 you know like guarding the whole perimeter you know because it was a holiday <laughs> yeah. but I, it doesn't make me particularly sad to know that because those are the soldiers who were sniping the civilians who were come to demonstrate at the Gaza border in the great march of return two years ago and they killed uh, like 360 Palestinians so, no, but I've lived there. I've, I've lived and worked with the Palestinians in Nablus, in the West Bank. Okay. But when I go back, I'm going to be living both in Nablus and in Jerusalem. Okay. You know, in Jerusalem, they have a neighborhood of Orthodox who are not Zionists, who refuse to serve in the military, who speak Yiddish. And Yiddish is my first language. Wow. I, I don't have anybody with whom I can speak Yiddish with, you know, here. There's because it's Yiddish speakers in the city. supposed to be, you know, but there isn't, you know. And the ones who know, they only know a little bit, you know, because Hebrew replaced Yiddish, you know, for oh. ideological reasons. So you must be Jewish. Jewish. Yeah, second generation. So you're okay being Jewish and standing outside the Jewish center? Like, That's where I should be, yeah. Uh, yeah, because Israel. the Jewish people ha should not be Zionist. That has to come to an end. I'm a Jewish Bundist. The Jewish Bund were the ones who were against, fighting against the fascists while the Zionists ran away. And they gave up on fighting against the fascists. We didn't, and we who, won. Who are some like thought leaders or authors that I that you would recommend that I read? Like, who, who are you reading? Like, what? Oh, are, are you, like, we published are you normal, are we you published two people's books people's of writings of the Jewish Bundists, you know, from Phoenix to Arizona, on my academia.edu site. Uh, the the, uh, the files are there for free. It's called, and uh, I think the well, the address are there uh, at the academia.edu. Those books are new, newer than the card here, but the, the books can be found there. And uh, in the list of books, I have about 20 books there. And uh, Sorry? the name? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm a, a doctor of political science. But I've never had teaching here in Quebec. I've been, you know, censored. So I have to do this because it's the only, where I can, only place where I can talk. You heard of Professor Rapkin? Yeah.
Yeah, I, he's a member of our alliance, but he's not an activist. You know, he's just a, a writer. Yeah, but he's he he criticizes Zionism from a religious point of view, like Nitura Karta does. Yeah. Yeah, but I do that, you know, in reference to Samuel and his critique of uh, the uh, uh, nation like other nations. But you know, the Bund goes much further because you know we recognize you know. Jewish self-determination is valid, but has to be accomplished without denying the very same right to another people, and has to be accomplished where Jewish people are living, like here. We need national cultural autonomy, it's called. This is what was proposed by the Jewish Bund. Are they, kicking, are they kicking you out? Or no, I'm tired. I have to go and sit down and have some chai at the corner Indian store across from the metro. All right. <sighs> No, it's it's a very sure. complicated thing, and it has to take a lot of consideration. Well, why did you choose this location, all Montreal? Why because here? of the flag there, the Israel, the genocide flag up there, wow. and the headquarters of the Zionist Party. It says that combined Jewish appeal is in here. Here's where they control all the money in the community, and they say who can work here and there, and all the, they say everything. It's like a dictatorship, and then we have to follow what the Israel government says, even though we don't have a vote. I don't know where they get that idea. <laughs> no way. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad the uh, camera was still on. Now, let's see. No genocide in Gaza. There, all packaged. Now, let's get my backpack. Okay, no genocide in Gaza allowed. Free Palestine! Yes. No genocide in Gaza allowed. Thank you. Okay, here we go. 